Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Ark, an aberration. Previously we managed to tame up Phil the Raptor and Bill the Bulb Dog who I'm just going to leave back at the shelter here. We're not going to be heading into the blue zone so we don't need a light pet just yet. And I think it'll be much safer back here. So I've managed to get together 34 Trank Darts and we've got plenty of Trank Arrows and Narcotic now, so I'm going to head out and see if we can find some more Tames. One Raptor on Aberrations not going to do us much good. And I've managed to get a few levels on Phil. But as you can see here, it's going to take a few hits to even take out this level 70 Parasaur, so we certainly need to find some more so I'm going to head back down towards the lake and see what we can find. So, looks like a raptor. What are you running from? Now, I suppose if we used to get a female raptor of a half decent level, that might be worth it. female 105 um, well we'll just get up on top of these rocks over here just try and kite it around if we jump up here and then come back the raptor can't get us and it looks like it's just trapped itself in between these rocks here so I think we'll try and tame this one and if I can bring it back to our temporary base shelter then we can breed up a pack of raptors and that would be much more useful for getting around. If we get attacked by a group of ravengers at the moment, we're pretty much mincemeat. But having a pack of raptors and the pack bonus, that would be a lot more useful. And I don't want to pump too many arrows into this because it's probably about to drop now. more that should do it so that was a pretty easy tame there we go and doesn't look like anything else is around us at the moment okay so let's just get back to base and try and breed these raptors and oh ravengers okay right we're toast or at least that one is. I don't think we can save it. Um, okay. Ah, oh, the bleed, it just slows you down. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's no way we're saving that. Yeah, we're not going to reach it. It's dead. Ah, oh, okay. Well, back to the drawing board. At least it was enough to save Phil. But yeah, one raptor's just not enough. You can just come over the top of a hill and be ambushed like that. So, we'll try again. We'll have a look around for something else. Okay, so... There is that level 80 Spino. I think that's the one that was sat there when we spawned in on the map. So, if we get a campfire down and... I'm just going to cook off some of this mutton. It's going to take me a while to just gather the resources around here and I'll just try and make a pen. Something to catch the spino in. I may as well cook off this mutton. Well, I don't know where that other spino's scarped off to, but there is another one just behind it, so just going to come over this way and Phil you're just going to have to follow me because we're too heavy there's another one just at the back here a level 75 which will do and I think having a trap set up around here might be useful anyway 
tends to be lots of things that spawn around here. So yeah, there it is, just sat there on the rock. I really don't know where the other one went, but I think we can build up some sort of trap just in this area here. So I've got a few day foundations together and just got to watch out for things that could jump off the cliff there, but I think if we set something up just in the corner here, that'll be fine. Now, I know the raptor's not fast enough to get out of its way. We could shoot it from its back, but as soon as it starts torpor running, the spinos are just so quick. And it'll be at the other end of the lake, so we really need to trap it. Now, I don't know if this will be big enough. It should be. going to build this little pen at least three walls high and put building a ramp up there it should be enough yeah two is not going to be high enough but bring them up three or four something like this I am going to have to gather some more materials That looks pretty tall to me, so let's just give it a go. Um, okay. Well, I'll go easy on the trank darts, but I'll just use a couple to get it over here. starting to move away so okay are you coming oh that was a miss I don't want to waste any of these darts that was a hit and now it's got stuck in that wall the spinos are so quick across the map. I'm gonna have to run over there. I've left Phil round the corner, so he'll be safe. Oh. Okay, that should have it on us now. Yep, yeah, here it comes. Okay. Go. Oh no, it's got out. I needed to make it taller. Okay, let's just make sure it doesn't go near Phil. Okay. Well, that was a miss. Um, we're just spawning at Fertile Lake 1. I didn't bother putting a sleeping bag down, but... Right, where are we? Uh, okay, yeah, it's just over there. Okay, well, that was a miss. We needed to build it a little bit higher. Well, three would at least have done it. Oh, proud. So I'm going to have to try and build it a little bit higher. And... Hopefully feels all right. I haven't had a message, but I tried to bring the spino back towards the trap rather than round the corner to fill. So I should be able to get our stuff back. Yeah, he's all right. Okay, so need to improve upon that trap and of course the spino is just over the top of my body but we'll get in my way the 
Come on, the loose fill. Okay. Right. Let's see if that does it. I mean... Again, it's gone under the water. I've got to try, otherwise we're not going to get it back here. Hopefully that's tall enough now. Where's it gone? They're just so fast. Okay, that was a hit. wasn't long enough, I don't think. Uh, just try and get it away from Phil. Well, it needed to be bigger. Okay. Well, it's Torpor running now. But yeah, um... Unfortunately, I think we've lost this one. The lake's just so big, they run so far away. And I don't even know if it's going to come back here, but... Yeah, we needed to build this trap even higher. And I don't know, maybe it's because it's in a hill. I don't know if it's clipping over the rocks or something. I've just built it in a bad spot. Okay, it's definitely coming back now. Oh, run, 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 run. Whoa. <laughs> it's just run up the side of the cliff. Uh, well, it's definitely torpor running because it just changed its mind there. Um, So, it's not going to be far off being knocked out, but... So I could try switching to the gun. It's probably like three quarters of the way there. Like I say, it just... Unless it runs into a wall or something, which it doesn't look like it's going to... It's just going to the safety of the water. Could follow it with Phil here, but and I can shoot off the Raptor's back, but Phil's just not fast enough, really. Okay, just had a little bit of wet. Well, I think we might have to cut our losses and go back to base. Gonna need to repair this crossbow, get some more tranks. Level 130 female. Well, we could go back to plan one. We're only really round the corner from the base. So, I think we'll grab this. And then we can get the raptor pack bonus. Breed a few of these up. And if we've got four or five raptors, we'll be a lot safer. I say a lot safer. <laughs> it is aberration. But yeah, I'll be able to get this one back to base. We're only around the corner from it. And there's an Ovis on the other side of the cliff as well. We can grab some mutton and get this one a mutton tame. And of course, having a full imprint on a raptor as well. We'll stand a better chance. So, just torpor running. 
and it will change its mind and come back for us eventually. Just got to keep up with it, but raptors are always an easy tame. Well, pretty easy. Unless they're in a pack, but there we go. And, oh, that's still torpor running. Yeah. Couple more arrows and that's down. There we go. And we'll just go and grab that Ovis round the back. There's one advantage on Aberration. There's plenty of Ovis spawn around here. There's one just over the back here, so we'll grab that. And yeah, I think we'll head back to the base. And breed a pack of raptors up. This one's got some good stats on it. As always, we're going with the patron naming rights, so thank you very much, Nikki, for your support on Patreon. And we're just going to breed these two raptors together, Phil and Nikki, and if we can get three or four raptors here, we'll get ourselves the pack bonus. And I feel a little bit more safe getting around aberration. Right, let's just cook the rest of this mutton off. May as well save it. And I'll save the torch as well. Right, and... This might take a little bit of time, but... It's definitely worth doing it. The key to beating Ark is always in breeding. Okay. Right. Well, a 145 Parasaur. Now, I've been thinking I really need to move from this location. I want to get towards the blue zone, and I've got a very specific place in mind to set up. We've managed to breed all of the raptors, but there's a 145 Parasaur there, and I think that would be perfect. So. Let's try building another trap and we can pretty much move our base operation in the Parasaur. And of course we can use its saddle just like we used the raft and we can stick everything we need on the saddle. So just going to build a taming pen Similar to the one that I did for the Spino, just hopefully this one actually works. So we'll just go for a, a 3 by 2 Oh, just wasted one. Okay. And I hope two walls high be enough. Mind you, we know how that went last time. see if this works before it scarpers off too far. I do like the aberrant colours on the parasols. Uh, it's sort of coming in at the wrong angle here. And um, you in. Ooh, just get out this way. And it looks like it's in. big enough. Needed to build it higher. Uh, I'm not having much luck with the trip <laughs> with the traps today, am I? Okay. Um, well, all I can do is just run circles around the trap and use that to sort of protect myself. I'll try one more time, just getting it in there. If it just comes in at the right angle. Oh, oh no. Poisonous mushroom. Oh, I should have had these on the hot bar. Oh, it's inside the trap. Okay. Yeah, on the 
outside of the trap. Okay. Come on, are you stuck? It looks like it could be stuck. Alright, let's just shoot it from here. Yeah, it's just not quite big enough to get it inside. Or tall enough. Alright, well. Just try not to aggro this Diplo. Otherwise that will end up trying to knock us off the side of the cliff here. Oh, just gonna have to get out of its way. Oh no, mushrooms again. Right, I think we're dead here. Gonna have to use up that sleeping bag. Oh, we've got this. All the raptors are on passive anyway, so... I don't think it's far off being knocked out. It did help a run before, but it's come back, so... Right, let's just grab some of these mushrooms. Just in case we get poisoned again. some on the hot bar just in case I end up running over one again. There you go, see it's running straight away. Now don't run off the cliff. There you go, heading into the rocks. Just avoid that toadstool there. Okay, this is good. It's got to be almost there. And there we go. Fantastic, okay, so the Parasaur is down. 145. As always, we're going to go for the Patreon naming rights tier. So, League A Gaming, thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And you're the Parasaur Ethereum. We're going to be using you to get to our next base location. And of course, we've got a Raptor Pack Escort now. Now, I'm just going to build on the platform saddle and I'll show you a quick tip here. So you can see just down the middle of the parasaur's neck there is a line and it is kind of guesswork but I kind of use its neck as a guide. We just want to get this first foundation down. Okay and there you go, so we can see it's kind of like in line with its neck. And the next thing I always do on any of my platform saddles or the raft is sink the foundation. So we just use the pillar trick, which is quite simple. So you can get rid of this thatch floor. Now we continue to put pillars next to each other. That brings the snap point down. So we're just going to do that sort of five times, five or six times. So I think that's three. I'm going to just do two more. Okay. Next we just get our foundation and you can see we've got a lower snap point. Now I'm going to use two hatch frames at the front and this way we can access the saddle easy. If we sink the foundations any more then the metal kind of clips through so if we're standing on the saddle, we can actually access it from the top. 
Otherwise we'd have to jump off the parasol to actually drive the thing. And can get rid of both of these now. But yeah, and the rest of these we put down as foundations. And this would be more than enough space for everything we need. And as you can see, if we just stand here, we can access the driving seat. Okay, so I'm just going to build this up a little bit more, put a smithy and a forge and a bed on here, and we'll be away. Okay, so I'm all packed up and I'm pretty much ready to shift base locations. We've got our Raptor pack and we've got Legate here is packed up with everything we're going to need when we get to where we're going. So let me show you around. We've pretty much got everything on here. We can access the saddle. We've got ourselves a preserving bin, a smithy, a forge. So if we come across any tech dinos on the way, we can get them on the forge and get some metal because we're going to need metal where we're going. And I think I'd like to make my base out of metal this time round going to be quite close to a large source of it. Um, I feel that I've been building out of stone and thatch with the previous builds, but I think Legate and the Raptor Pack should be able to make it to where I have in mind to set up our base location. Now we're pretty much going to have to follow the river, and it's near where the river ends and the blue zone begins I want to get to, because that kind of puts us in a very central location so right let's go for this stego and see how effective this pack is there we go straight I know it to help get a few points on the way there so I've got around 10 gate health on Lee gate now so that's not too bad let's say along with the raptor pack it's going to be slow going but I think we're going to leave it there because I pretty much want to share the journey in the next episode so I think we'll make the cut just here once again, thank you very much for all of the support on the first video we had out. And I'm really excited to be back on Aberration. But the journey of Legate and the Raptors is going to have to continue in the next episode of Ark. Let's say I'm going to follow this hill down and round along the river. So there's going to be Spinos and yeah, it's could be a little bit of a dangerous run but I think we can handle it I think we're ready and like I say there's a Pacific zone I have in mind where I want to set up but I'm fairly confident we should be able to make it don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the content from myself but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you